Hey there, how are you doing? Charlie Winters here with selections for Sunday, the 2nd of April. Well, let's get straight one. Well, let's, not, let's not get straight into it. A quick recap on Saturday's performance. Well, I got the draw wrong, but it was still a profitable day. So, yeah, so I'm pleased with that. It wasn't, we didn't bring the house down, anything like that. I think it was 50, around 50 to 55 on and just short of £80 bag. So, profitable day. Um... The football bet is frustrating. Another team, or oh, sorry, another match where it was basically just one nil, and and the other two matches both were both successful over four and a half goals. So we literally wanted the Sheffield United and Sheffield United and Norwich match to um to have a late flurry of goals, but unfortunately it didn't happen. So let's get on to Sunday selections. Sunday is purely horse racing selections, and I've gone for. A total stake of £15. So, I shall talk you through the stakes in a second. So, let's get into the horses. So, the first bet is a 10 pence each way Canadian. The first selection is Quan. By the way, I've taken all the prices on these. It just gives me a cash out option. I don't know what the pricing will do, if I'm being honest. Uh, I, I may have took some shocking prices. I think, I think one of the selections might drift, but just for the sake of cash out purposes, I've actually taken the prices today. So the first selection is Quan at 14 to 1 in the 135 at Doncaster, paying four places instead of three. The second selection is Cloudbreaker at 15 to 2 in the 10 past 2 at Doncaster, and that's paying four places instead of three. And all these bets are with Skybet for the extra place races. The third selection is Bernardo O'Reilly at 11 to 2 in the 320 at Doncaster paying six places instead of four. The fourth selection is Cathak at 40 to 1 in the 355 at Doncaster paying four places instead of three. This was possibly the most interesting horse of the bet. Cathak was was owned by Godolphin and trained by Charlie Appleby not too long ago. The interesting thing is Richard Farhir is now uh, now trains a horse under a new owner. But the interesting thing is, this horse is a full brother, I believe it's brother, full brother to Ribchester. Ribchester was described as being the best horse that Richard Farhit has ever trained. So I find it very interesting that Godolphin and Charlie Appleby had a full brother to Ribchester, only for it to be, only for it to underachieve, and now it's gone to Richard Farhit, who was a trainer of the... Um, of the relative, that the full brother, and it was his best horse. So surely there must be some kind of characteristics that are similar. I also find it interesting that the best run that this horse had was when it had got, I believe it had got a tongue strap and first time blinkers, or first time tongue strap and first time blinkers, and it ran its best race by far. It was also six to one in a large field race at Ascot. So to be six to one in a, in a I think it was a class three race as well, and that that was last year. Don't get me wrong. And it didn't do anything. That, and obviously, that's if it did do something, it wouldn't be with Richard Farley. It, it is still be with Charlie Appleby. So it's underperformed, but and I think they think it's capable of of something extra. However, whether it's this race or not, I don't know. But I do believe there's more to come from this horse. And I think forty to one with so many possibilities about this horse, I couldn't really leave it out. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it. It's got first time tongue strap. Sorry, it's got tongue strap and first time cheap pieces today. So uh, it's just an interesting horse, and it's 40 to 1 about Richard Farley at Doncaster on heavy ground. is too much to ignore. And the fifth selection is Gorak at 15 to 2 in the 430 at Doncaster, paying four places instead of three. So those are all the selections, but here, here's the stakes. So it's a 10 pence each way Canadian. So 10 pence each way Canadian. 20 pence each way doubles. This, you put this bet on all at the same time. So it's 10p each way Canadian. 20 pence each way doubles. And then to make up to £15, I've had a 40 pence each way fivefold. I've also had 50 pence each way single on every single horse. And that totals £15. So there will be no selections for Monday. I've looked at the racing already and it's absolutely dreadful. So if you give me a like or subscribe for this video, then you'll get a notification when the two, when Tuesday's video comes out, Monday, Monday evening. So the very best of luck, Charlie Winters, over and out. Cheers, mate.